Well, good morning from Two Happy Children Farm. I haven't made a video for a while. We've been deep into the summer mode with uh, mostly harvesting and just trying to keep our heads above water. So that's kind of boring and gets uh, repetitive. But I thought I'd give you a video about um, what we're doing here for the fall. So Central Texas, we've been over 100 degrees for at least 45 days in a row. I think it started like June 18th. Haven't had a break since then. Today is supposed to get up to 109. So over the years we've found problems um, in August where we try to establish new crops and uh, finding something that we can grow or maintain. Um, this year has been no different uh, with this heat. Uh, over to the side here we've just finished uh, watermelon harvest. It was about a week earlier than uh, we expected but we finished it and uh, we did a pretty good cantaloupe harvest. So we're gonna have cantaloupes through the end of August, which is satisfying. And next to me, um, we planted a winter squash field uh, about 10 days ago. And uh, they really struggled a little bit, but um, they're starting to show some life and, and some green. So I think these guys will be okay. Um, secret here planting was we had a really adequate wet bed so the roots could reach the moisture right away um, and then uh, we had good healthy plants because they were going to go backwards as soon as you plant them and uh, just good maintenance from there um, white mulch also helps keep it from uh, getting hotter during the day uh, anything that didn't survive we've gone back and hand seeded and uh, those are sprouting within about four days over here is our uh, kind of our substitute crop for trying to get a cabbage crop in in uh, October. Um, we normally would try to harvest cabbage starting early October, but as it's trailing into the summer here and has been so hot, we just didn't want to start them even in the greenhouse yet. So two weeks ago today, we started this uh, first group of sweet corn, and how we did that is we took the planter, set it on pretty deep and we're working into really dry dry powder so I set it deep and turned the um, down pressure up maximum and uh, we've been working on this planter trying to get the right spacing so we dialed back the um, the vacuum pressure just a little bit so we're seeing less doubles right now than we had seen in the spring but now we're starting to see some skips so uh, the next field I've increase the pressure. So you notice on this field every uh, row has uh, drip tape going with it. So the way we do this is plant it first into complete dry soil and then come back and pull out some drip tape, water it in, gets it about an inch and a half of water, and then just shut off the water. We'd found over the years that if you left the water just going, um, the seed eventually got so hot and so saturated it would just um, swell and uh, rot so you got to cut off the water um, about five days after it emerges we get back in here and put out our pre-emerge and clean up any uh, weeds that have emerged because they emerge just as fast as the corn does and then we put out 80 pounds of nitrogen through the drip tape and then we'll come back again uh, around V7 and put the other 80 pounds out. So you'll see the weeds um, dying out here. This is our second pass we made three days ago. And when you're doing with drip tape, you're just working with like a seven inch wide band around the rows. The row middles never get really wet. So you can control the weeds just in the corn row and you should be fine. I'm gonna do a tissue test on these guys. This is my first field. I haven't run corn in this area before, so we'll be looking for probably micronutrient deficiencies right now. And uh, we can correct that again with one more pass on the drip tape. Next to it, we have the second field started. Um, fall corn is a little different than spring. If you wanna just have a, a staggered crop, you can plant about every seven days in the spring, and then you'll get a field crop every seven days at harvest. In the fall, it's a little different. We're growing into cooling weather. 
and even though these seeds are coming up within um, 96 hours uh, they're not going to do that the next time we plant and the next time we plant so these first two fields were um, about 12 days apart uh, the next field is just going to be a week apart and then the last field will be five days apart and even that five days will stretch into at least a 9 to 14 day uh, staggering in the harvest so like I said this field was planted um, just a couple days ago Monday and today's Thursday and I've already started to see some uh, seed sprouting and when I say get it wet this is what I mean um, you can pull it back we're wet all the way to the surface all the way down to wherever the seed might be and um, It'll emerge today and tomorrow up through moist soil. And then after about three days of emergence, I'll go back and get the weeds one more time. And uh, we'll run it for another inch and a half of water. And that'll get the roots down deep and uh, fed and off to a good start. So this field on the right has only been growing for two weeks. And we're already at three, three collar corn. So that's what we're doing in the fall. Super hot here in Texas. Not a lot you can do. Try to stick to things that actually work instead of just killing yourself. Uh, doing stuff that doesn't work over and over again. And we found sweet corn can grow and we can get a market in uh, October through Thanksgiving for it. So thanks for watching.